Today's market update, it being the very, very beginning of July, there's not many numbers for July that came out, plus we had the holiday in there yesterday. So we are going to go over the month of June this year, and I've highlighted a number of things that what we mentioned in the opening there about uh, sales starting to, to uh, tail off a little bit. Prices are still going up at a huge amount, but we're also seeing inventory increase. So if you look at the first line there, total sales, the year over year change, July 24 from July 23, um, it's actually down. So last year in July, or sorry, in June of last year, we were selling more homes than we did this June. But if you look at the inventory, our inventory is actually up 9.17%, which we were we've been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, it's been tough to find all of our investors the, the type of property they want, the cash flowing properties. So they've had to be very, very patient and take their time until we could find that right property. But we, but by seeing inventory start to increase, uh, it'll be a lot more uh, positive for the investors out there finding the property type that they want. Yeah, and speaking to that, like with suited properties, it's been almost impossible to find suited properties. And when they do come up, uh, they go into multiple offers. So we've been looking at different avenues, different price points for suited properties. And right now you can get a newer um, newer duplex with a suite in newer communities, um, like we were just mentioning in Skyview Ranch or Cornerstone or in the deep south down in Walden or uh, down in, where did John buy? Near the Seaton. hospital Seaton. And on the other side of McLeod Trail and Creekside and Belmont. Yeah. And so, communities like that. Yeah. So as Tim was saying, um, in Bowness, if you're looking at a half duplex, Tim, how old would that be? 50 years old? Yeah, 50 years old. 50 years old, half duplex. Yes, it could be updated. But you're pushing high fives, right, in somewhere like Bowness. And if you go into the newer communities, you're pushing mid sixes for that for a newer product and you're getting the same rents. Yeah. So we're always trying to achieve around $4,000 in rent per month. That's roughly 2,500 up with a double car garage and $1,500 down for the basement. That's pretty standard, but finding these properties has been tough. And we're, we're also looking at finding properties that we will sweep ourselves, have our contractors go in, build out the kitchen, legalize it. Uh, that's almost Tim, an easier way to get properties these days. Yeah. And the final line we're going to look at down there is the average price. Uh, so from June 23 to June 2024, the, the, price, the average price has gone up almost 13%. So if you bought a property in June of last year, congratulations, you made quite a bit of money. Um, if you bought at the average price, you've made you know roughly $70,000, $75,000. Yeah, and people always ask us, where is it heading? I mean, when you look at um, Calgary ranking team last month as the number two city in North America with the highest population growth, um, we will continue to see this for a number of years. Where should the average be? Well, we could tell you Toronto and Vancouver are above a million dollars and we're nowhere near that. So we expect it just to keep rolling um, the way it's been and seeing this kind of growth going into next year and the year after. Yeah, we've got a long way to go. I don't think we'll ever catch Toronto and Vancouver because like they're like as I said, their average price is 1.2 million. We're at you know right there, 602. If you look at year to date, uh, the bottom right hand corner. 602 is our average price. This is all property types combined. So we're halfway, halfway to where yeah. they are. Yeah. So we can see us getting, you know, getting another 100, 200,000 in our average price uh, just on our uh, immigration alone, because if we're getting 60, 70,000 people a year coming in here. That's going to drive prices uh, by limiting supply. Yeah, which is good time for investors. It's never too late to invest. Um, it just takes, as Tim was saying, you have to have patience. Uh, in this market. And there's different segments of the market that are really, really taking off. The condo market is crazy right now, and that's going to continue just because inventory in some of those segments is still way down. Um, so yeah, that's our market update for uh, July.